Okay, we'll see who comes on here. Good evening, everyone. Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. My lives on Sunday night at 8 p.m. Um, and this evening we are going to, hello Sue, we are going to make an alternative project with our paper pumpkin stamp set. And I, I love this stamp set so much and I did buy the um, add-on cards. Hi Billy. Um, but for people who didn't purchase the add-ons, there is a wonderful um, little stamp here, these uh, berries. Hi Brenda. Uh, that I think are going to be just so much fun. And I tried to mimic them after the vellum here. But uh, we'll go over just a few things like we always do in the beginning. These are the free card kits for the month of August. Hello, Karen. Um, and these you receive these if you place an order, if you're a downline or a paper pumpkin subscriber of mine. These are the free card kits. Hi, Lily. Um then I have, if you don't want to purchase from the catalog of Stamping Up, I make these card kits every month. They change every month. And these are, you get two of each. This is called my Happy Crafting Card Kit class. These are the two, uh, or you receive two of each, and these are the designs for this month. And this is $25 free shipping. You get eight cards two of each with eight Whisper White envelopes. So that's that little special right there. Um, <clears throat> if you're a new customer, you're gonna receive a brand new catalog, annual catalog. You will receive six six by six sheets of designer series paper, and that's retired paper. Um, that's just to help you to start to craft. And then you're going to also receive our brand new holiday catalog. Hi, Judith. Nice to see everyone on here this evening. Nice. So let's see, that's good there. And let's talk about the giveaway. Oh my goodness, okay. So my last video that I did on YouTube was an hour long. I I don't think I've ever done an hour long video, but I had so much fun with the Cuckoo Clock bundle. And um, it, so that video is over on YouTube. It's also on this on my Facebook page here. But the um, the giveaway is some of this ribbon right here three pieces of it. It's about a foot of each. And then this card from tonight. And then my little cuckoo clock card. Watch. Isn't that adorable? So this, I'm going to give this away tonight. I had so much fun making this. And, um, you know, it, it is a project because it's interactive. And I just broke it down and tried to to do it the best I could uh, on YouTube. But like I said, it turned out to be a whole hour uh, video, but I really had a lot of fun. And um, the the clock hands are interactive also. Hi, so this is awesome, I know, right? How much fun this card is so stinking cute. Now, there is a lot to doing it, you know, and putting it together, but if you get this set, okay, the cuckoo clock, bundle, cuckoo for you bundle. I could see like a bunch of people sitting around at a table, everybody making their own card with the clock and then like passing it to the right, like one person. So everybody gets a different card. I think that that would be a lot of fun. But this is just, I had so much fun making this card. It's so sweet. A very, very fun bundle. So that's part of the giveaway along with this card. And then, um, the like I said, the three pieces of ribbon here. So let me move this to the side. Okay, um, the paper share. Let's talk about the paper share. I have two paper shares left. The invoices went out today. So um, check your email. Um, and then the paper shares will be mailed within about, in about a week. I just have to get everything cut up and all of the, um, the addresses on everything, and they go out priority mail. So they will probably be mailed next weekend for everyone. So that's that with the paper share. How much fun is that? Because there's some really pretty Christmas paper. Now with this, this is the alternative card that I came up with, with our paper pumpkin um, little uh, stamp set this month. Here it is, here's the stamp set, and I used every single stamp in this set. I love it when that happens because I really feel like I get 
my bang for my buck. And honest to goodness, guys, I still have up here. Let me turn this camera just a little bit. Look at my trucks. They decorate my desk. I love my little trucks. I really fell in love with those little trucks. My grandson loved them too, but they decorate my desk now. So, <laughs> so okay, let's move this aside. I'm going to use my foam mat. And now, um, when you go over to YouTube, there is a product list right under the video and then a shop now button right under the video. Very, very simple. So let's see, what do we have here? I have this piece of crumb cake cut out uh, of the oval dies, and that is going to go on the back of our um, pretty label punch right here. So I'm gonna bring in a piece of Scrap Whisper White and I will open my Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I'm using this because we're gonna color with blends, and this helps to hold the color in. Not in this sentiment, you could really do the sentiment in any color you wanted to, but I just did the black. It says, thankful for friends like you. And I'm going to just ink this up nicely. I think I really have to re-ink my Memento ink there. I'm going to press this right here. That is, oh, that's just beautiful. Nice and crisp. That really, really gives you a very, very nice crisp um, look, the tuxedo does. And now I'm going to take my punch here and just give it that. That's perfect. And now we're going to just snail this to the back of our crumb cake right here, or I'm sorry, the back of it to the front of the crumb cake. Oops. Wrong one. Okay. Here we go. Just a little snail down. And just center it right here on your crumb cake. Very simple, just like that. And then what we're going to do, because we're going to actually straddle some ribbon, um, I want to use the sides of my dimensionals. And I want to use these right here. So let me cut a couple of those out for us. And we'll just get this element ready. I use every single piece of my dimensionals. What I'm making here is like a little line there, a little trough for the ribbon to sit in. And I don't want dimensionals here because if you look at the card, the ribbon is here and then that would just give us way too much bulk. So just two little pieces, top and bottom right there is just fine. So we'll move this off to the side and Let's see, some of my things fell down. Okay, let's talk about the base of the card now. I used crumb cake and it is 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half. So it opens like this. Hi Angie, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow at work. <laughs> so we're gonna use some, um, some rhinestones right here. And I cut this circle out of um, crumb cake and then this stitch circle is just out of regular Whisper White. This is the largest stitch circle, and then this is just a scallop. Like I said, there'll be a product list over on my YouTube channel. Now my inside piece is regular Whisper White, and it's four and three quarter by three and a half. We're gonna stamp on that in just a moment. We're gonna move those elements out of the way. And then this piece right here is Calypso Coral, it's cut at five and a quarter by four, but I ran it through the um, uh, eyelet lace embossing folder. This embossing folder with the little dots of lace on it just reminded me of these little berries. And so that's how I came up with that. So that's kind of cute. Just mixing and matching, right? So now let's go ahead and put this piece down. And what we're gonna do is flip it over to the back and we're gonna put a little snail on either side, just like that. And now we're gonna take this ribbon and this ribbon is from the Magnolia Lane uh, combo pack. 
I just really love that it is in that crumb cake color. And I'm just going to, I, we're, we will not waste not one little bit of this ribbon doing it like this. I just eyeball it and you saw I put the snail on the back. And what that snail does then is help to hold my ribbon in place while I get it straight. Now's the time to like, if it's not straight or you have to manipulate it a little bit, now's the time to do it. But I think we're good right there. I'm going to move that ribbon out of the way. And now on the back here, because we are embossed, we want to use our Tombow liquid adhesive glue. But see what's nice is that um, the snail is holding down and holding our ribbon in place till we can get everything going here. Make sure you get it to the edges on the tips right there. See where I put the dots? Now let's bring in our card base. Okay, right here. And we're going to flip this over and we're just going to attach it. And that leaves a nice little crumb cake border around. Hi, Dawn. Nice to see you. So that's wonderful just right there. And I'm just tapping that down until my Tombow takes hold, takes that liquid glue just a minute to take hold. Now, <clears throat> we're gonna make a little knot bow. And again, I'm gonna work off of the spool. So I just take this and I thread it underneath my ribbon that I've got down there. And I just make this knot. And this is a way that you absolutely have no waste. Pull the ribbon where the spool is. Hold your ribbon there, where, like as far out as you want it, and then pull the other side. There we go, okay? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, what I do is I take my ribbon and I push it together like this to get it even. And then I, you can either cut, I'm cutting, I'm going to cut this straight, but you could cut an angle or cut it straight, whichever. But that is a good way to make sure that your ribbon is even on either side. Just bring it together, pinch it up. I'm just going to snip that right there. Good. And here is our cute little bow. It's really a knot, but it looks like a bow, which is absolutely perfect for us. Now we're going to bring our element in that we just made where we have our um, dimensionals just top and bottom, which is just plenty enough for what we're doing. And we're going to go ahead and let that straddle that ribbon there. And I want a little bit of the ribbon to show on this side and right there. So now that holds that ribbon in place at the same time and makes a really great element. Thank you, Jackie. Okay, now... Let's go ahead and bring in our circle here. And um, we're going to open our Tuxedo Memento Black Ink again. And we're going to stamp our little berry stem here. Or to me, it looks like berries. I don't know. So I have it like this. And I'm going to stamp it right here in the center. Beautiful. I'm going to move that aside and I'm going to bring in our inside piece and just some scrap. Let me get a piece of scrap paper here because I'm going to stamp off a little bit. Let's see. Right here. Okay, now right down in this corner, I'm going to ink it up again. And now I just have like the top of it inked. And I'm going to stamp it right here to give us some berries on our inside piece. I'm going to just flip that around and stamp it right here. Perfect. And then right in the center, I'm going to stamp our little enjoy. And I'm doing that in Tuxedo Memento Black Ink also. Let me move this away from here. Now, we don't need that. Okay, try to get this as straight as I can. So right here. 
Perfect. All right, now, I've already, off camera, I already went ahead and colored the envelope, but look at how cute that looks. Is, wouldn't that be fun to get that in the mail? So we're gonna go through um, what I've colored with. And like I said, I tried to mimic the, um, the vellum the best I could with what we had. So I used Bermuda Bay, and these are all, hi Diane. Um, thank you very much. Uh, the, um, I, I've used, let's see, light Bermuda Bay, light Granny Apple Green, light Cherry Cobbler, light Rich Razzleberry, dark um, Old Olive, and dark Daffodil Delight. Okay, so let's go through this. And the bottom ones, we will color with um, Bermuda Bay. And it's really quick coloring. I am not shading anything. So while I'm coloring, and you're watching me color, so I just do like a layer on the bottom, and then I go to another color. No right or wrong with any of this. Okay, so while I'm coloring, let me just say the special... For the $99, if you want to sign up as a demonstrator, it's $99, you get $155 worth of product. Now, the, um, the catalog launches, hi, Kathy. Um, hi, Karen. The, um, the new holiday catalog launches September 4th. So, if you are thinking about spending $100, you might seriously think about signing up to be a demonstrator, even if you just do it for this three months and get in on that special, because you get to pick $155 worth of product for $99. And then you, uh, if you sign up under me, I have a special Facebook page for us, for my, um, for my team, and it's called My Happy Crafting Corner. And every Thursday, I post a little video. And if you don't do Facebook, don't worry. I send you the e I send you an email with the video in it. So there's my Bermuda Bay. I'm going to go to my light granny apple green. So just a little coloring here. And like I said, I just picked out of my um, my little stack over here that I have. I just picked out the colors that I kind of thought mimicked what was in the vellum right up here. And that's how I got to doing this effect on our little berries. And the more that I did it, the more I was like, oh, they're looking so pretty. So I just kept doing it and changing color, and I was like, oh wait, this is really coming out kind of nice. And um, I appreciate having the vellum as like, um, I don't know, a template of color for me. So just fun like this. Now we're gonna go to the dark old olive. right there and now back to this one and kind of wherever that light grady apple green is I like to come in with the darker and highlight around a little bit I think it makes the granny apple green stand out that much better right there and let's just do one up here just because we can all right now let's change to um, hi, Laura. Dark Daffodil Delight. And we'll just come in here. And this Dark Daffodil Delight almost reminds me of a crushed curry. So I'm really enjoying that color for fall. Let's put some here and one here. That's nice. And let's see, we'll put a yellow here. That's good. And let's do 
one here. Nothing has to be the same. Everything can be different. I love it. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Now, um, I like my purple. I love the rich raspberry. So I come in with my red first. And I just do my red a little bit. And then what's left over I do in the purple. I don't know why I found that to be easier for me. Because I get, you know, I I don't know. I I did the purple on one of them and then I kind of was like, oh wait, I didn't do my red where I wanted it to be. So I decided to do the red, the tip second to last. Just because that works out a little better for me. So let's see, where else should we put a red one? That would look good purple. Let's put another red one in here. And then those two purple. That's good. And we'll just move this aside. And let's do red out here. Right there. Nice. And those three purple. Now this is Rich Razzleberry, the light. And this is all we've got to do. And then we'll take a look at it, looking at that vellum right there. So pretty, and I love to color. And like I said, you can blend with your blends, but if you don't like to blend, they are fantastic markers, fantastic alcohol markers. See, this way I could just come through here like that. Oh, I love that. Didn't that come out pretty? We started with a piece of white paper that had nothing on it. I love that. Now then this piece right here will go down on our crumb cake with just some snail. Then we'll pop it up. with dimensionals. That one, this one. And one more. There we go. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so let's look at it. Here's our vellum. And there's what I created. Kind of cool, huh? That's all right. I'm okay with that. All right, now this goes onto our vela or onto our round scalloped with some snail. And I'll just let that little scallop show. Now this goes on the inside of the card. Let's bring our card base in and let's attach this on the inside. Doesn't that just make that crumb cake just makes those colors stand out and the colors make the crumb cake stand out. I just love it. Okay, now our last element right here and we're going to use our um, dimensionals. Really quick here, just a few. All right, we are almost done with this card. Thank you so much for stopping in with me today. And if you watched my cuckoo clock video, I want to say thank you for hanging in there with me. It was a long video, but I felt like I needed to do everything that I did to show you guys exactly how to um, get the effect of the cuckoo. Oh. Isn't that adorable? Look at how beautiful. Okay, let's put some rhinestones. We'll go up here. I'm going to put five in here. And one here. And then on each side of our sentiment just to accent that. 
just like that. Oh, love it. So here is our project, our little alternative project. Thank you, Sue. Our little alternative project with our paper pumpkin kit this month, our stamp set. Let's move everything out of the way and bring both of these in just like this. Let me get this foam mat out of the way. And here we are for this evening. Thank you so much for coming by. And like I said, you could go to my YouTube channel now. There'll be a product list of all of these products for you. And thank you, Laura. And also um, the Shop Now button right below. So thank you again for watching. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me on a Sunday evening. I appreciate every one of you. And have a wonderful, happy crafting evening. See you next Sunday.